here we are. Back once again. Yep. Probably threw a lot of people off because, you know, took took the whole week off, pretty much. Dang near. People probably thought, you know, we, we weren't even going to finish this series. Because sometimes I got a habit of not finishing things that I start. But here we are with the final six. Book October Chronicles. I'm scared. Releasing on Halloween. So we're doing a back to back marathon of short horror films. We gave it this week because, with Halloween being today, a lot of people are going to release their, their short horror films like over the weekend. Just kind of, you know, get people into vibes and stuff. And now it's all compacted into one place on YouTube. Maybe some people are going to release it later in the day just to be like have it on Halloween. But that, hey, look, sucks to be them because we're going down the list of the first six to catch our attention. That being said, the very first one up on the list because it's the first one that popped up on YouTube, They Hear It by Julian Terry. Um, don't know what it's about. I see a little girl in distress. And we got a couple more things on the list to kind of get down to, but they hear it. I, I kind of want to, kind of want to know what they're hearing. Well, they hear it. In a second, we're gonna see it and hear it. We don't know that. We might just hear it. It might be too late. What if this is a like hush, like a death horror short film? I don't know. I we'll don't find know. out right after this. Alright y'all, All right. here, oh, did you, did you want to do it? We're going to get right into this guys, and we're going to learn about They Hear It. That felt good. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your showmanship was getting I, a little bit up there. I only I, have I, so I many episodes it. left in my contract, so I got to make it work. Yep, alright, here we go. We already starting out with some pretty dope, uh, dope imagery. I, I like the the title cards yeah. or the the company cards. Oh, that, that that went straight into the movie. Hold on. Oh, hold on. What was that horror film? Look at the puppy. <laughs> I don't care so much about the child, but the puppy is cute. This is like a Halloween opening panning shot this is yeah. a very halloween opening shot where's the oh oh no nah. we already starting now a little little crazy oh uh, no there's something else on that telly no there's something watching them on the telly television said this this mess works both ways do you know what that is I believe I way back when okay when Monsters HD was one of the first HD channels seeing that black and white horror film but I don't know I've seen so many oh hold on we were supposed to read that no. I forget. I forget that we have. No. I gotta read for the both of us. Not not important. Parents aren't home. That that's what I got from that. From the very quick, very quick scan look that I got. Is this even a babysitter situation, or is this us older sister? Bro, this is a well trained dog. See, I can't stand people who sleep with their windows open. Because it's like you asking to get got. And this is coming from somebody that used to camp. Like, not like camp in a tent, this but like camp in like a... This is also somebody that didn't have central heating in their farmhouse for the longest time. And you had to open up the windows. But still, you got 
creepy sounds in an old farmhouse. Now that's a good guard. Oh, great there. Mm -hmm. Was that Doberman Pinscher? Yes. Oh, I'm not liking this. I'm about to say, like, I'm hearing things, but I'm not really... Bro, that is a really well-trained dog. No, not Fido. Get, get back in that house. Why are you just leaving the door? Nah, this television ain't playing. I'm so glad that we waited. The the quality of this one is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, he in the phones too? Whatever this entity is, it, it's getting points. It's no Siren Head. Siren Head don't gotta do nothing but exist and be <sighs> creepy looking. It's stupid. Just admit it, kids. Yeah, you, you see, you, you're just, you're out of touch. I'm not. I lived in this kind of country situation where you hear, like, a fox killing a rabbit or something crazy. And there are a lot of people that they grow up in, like, nuclear test facility. <laughs> what? <laughs> sure. <laughs> this will be the point where you jump out the window. Alright, it's, it's a little too little too dark out here. Where's the other one? That's that's what I'm scared about. Man, this child done got got. Like this has great audio mixing. It's got great audio and the cinematography is really good. They're used to like the shadows and the darkness. Like just the contrast. Like this shot is so pretty. I need to talk to uh, the the DP on this project. We need to we need to do some stuff together. This is the type of stuff that makes me want to get back into making short films, like real ones. Okay, child. Why are you out here? No. Oh. Nah, Jack gone. Yeah, just don't trust Jack. <laughs> nope. It's Halloween. Look at him, trembling. You just gonna throw down the flashlight? It couldn't be me. <laughs> this child will be gone. Oh, that's not Jack. Jackson, please don't step into the dark. Who gonna be here? Bran, have you, little girl, if you don't get out of these woods, this is when I would have got to walking. Straight came back the way that I came from. This 
This is really good. Like, is it a Spriggan? Like, what is out there? Oh. Oh, oh. no. We don't like that. Oh, it's teasing, too. Okay, so what? Girl, just just ditch this flashlight. It's not worth it. Yeah. Mm. We got an ovation. Julie and Terry, well done. Hmm. Yeah. This is uh this is how you do it. And you got to see it. You got to see the thing. I was not expecting to see what we were hearing. And uh, I was not disappointed at any point during this because it's the one thing of where, like, who, whoever is actually making this one, I feel like maybe they had a similar childhood experience growing up to, as me, of <laughs> many different crazy stuff that would happen in the night, in the countryside, or mm -hmm. the idea that in your own house like one old window that's been there okay since like let's say 1870 has never been fully been able to close so it screams like a banshee when there's enough wind okay that kind of stuff does scare a kid over time and that's what i was thinking like oh is this just all in the kid's head no there is something out there mm -hmm. and it's far more worse than i thought it was gonna be yeah I really liked the the composition of like light and shadows. Um, the the DP and the cinematographer or like the cameraman were amazing, amazing. They worked really well together because yes. nothing seemed blocked out. All of the things that were like masked in shadow felt intentional. It wasn't like I was losing anything. I really want to know what they shot this on. Um, but that's getting into like my film side and stuff like that. But for a nighttime shoot and using like their composition of light, that that was that was good. That was nice. They hear it, y'all. Check it out. Julian Terry on YouTube did an amazing thing. Not sure if he's made any other uh, short horror films or just short films. He might just be goaded amongst the YouTubes at this point. But. I ain't seen nothing. I don't know if I've seen anything else from him, but I definitely like this. And this came out either yesterday or two days ago. So check it out on his channel. Show him some love. I think this has only gotten like 5,000 views. Oh, man. At so the this point is where I've just seen presses. it. Yeah. And I, I'm going I'm to say it deserves a vote <laughs> Sh share it to as many people as you possibly can this holiday season yes so this is the first in the line of the spooktober chronicles finale thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it feel free to like comment share subscribe that way we know the types of stuff that you want to see in the future but until that future comes i'm will knight matt mckinley be brave be bold be you and hopefully i we can be in your future later Lates.